are YouTube says you see we're back at the crib and this right here this right here is the reason for the title of the video this is the reason this is the sole reason why you go to these gun shows I know a lot of people say oh why do you go to these shows why everything is this everything is that I always tell people you gotta negotiate but sometimes when it's too good sometimes you gotta take it and run honestly this right here hands down might be the best deal that I got out of gun show this year so y'all boys stay tuned let's check it out Five, four, three, two, I let one go. Alright guys, so as you see right here, we got the Italian's finest, the Italian stallion itself, the Benelli. Now I know y'all thinking like, oh, did you just pick up a Benelli? I did pick up a Benelli and I still haven't shot that one. I still haven't shot that one because I was waiting for this. Now watch that video, y'all know I asked y'all, what should I compare it to? And I was getting like a whole bunch of these. So before, before we open it, I want you to drop in the comments what y'all thinking. Y'all should know what it is, but drop in the comments what y'all think it is. And let's see how many people actually get it right. So let's go ahead and get with some. Well, let me give y'all a second. Now let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. Opening this up, we're gonna try to do this as fast as possible. Opening this up, we're gonna show y'all what it comes with. So obviously you got your paper, obviously you got your wrappers. Now I did open this because it did come with a few extra goodies. And this is this is why I say this is the benefit of going to these shows. So I'm, I, we'll get into that when we get into that, but let's go ahead and show y'all what it comes with. So it does come disassembled. So your barrel and all that stuff is gonna come, you know, this symbol. So you got your, you know, your wrappers, you got your manual, you got some more papers, some wrappers. That's really all they give you. Some Benelli oil. Hey, that might come in handy. Yeah, I'm gonna put that one to the side. But other than that, that's all we got in the box. Now, let me go ahead and show y'all the reason why y'all clicked on this video. So reason why you hit these shows. Now, if y'all didn't know, I am having my Glock 17C giveaway, and that's gonna be a two week giveaway. We're picking a winner on November 13th. So November 13th, you have all that time to enter. If you want, I'll pin a link in the comments, and I'll also put the video on my, my main screen. So my main, my homepage, you go, you click on my homepage, it's gonna be the main video up there. So I'll put it there, because sometimes those links don't be working. But what I was saying, if y'all can find a better deal than what I pay for this, I'll give you two tickets in today. Nah, you know what? We going crazy. Anybody who can find an active deal this good, an active deal this good, I'll give y'all five tickets. Now it doesn't have to have all the bells and whistles, but it has to be the exact same model. You got five tickets into that giveaway that we're, we're picking a winner, a winner November 13th. So if y'all want that giveaway is open, y'all go check it out. Check that video out after you watch this one, but yeah. If y'all can find a better deal, I don't care where it's at, if y'all can find a better deal and I can confirm it, five tickets into this giveaway we're going crazy but let's go ahead and jump into this i did mess with this like i said earlier so i just put the bag on it for dramatic effect but y'all have to it's an unboxing so you gotta get the full effect and i didn't want to take it apart because it does come you know with the barrel disassembled and stuff like that but what we have here is a benelli m4 h tool what a lot of people would argue is the best shotgun in the world. No, I don't accept that. Now, as y'all see, this is the Benelli M4 H2O tactical model. So this one does come with the adjustable stock. Now, I know I'm gonna leave it out all the time, especially for taller people. You want, you know, that extra room, you know, to make it comfortable or whatever. But I am gonna leave this out the whole time, but you, you want the option. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, they would prefer the fixed stock or something like that. But you want the option of being able to at least make it somewhat compact. See, I know some people who could probably run it like this. You know, if you're small, if you're a smaller person, I'm pretty sure somebody can run it like this. So that fixed stock might be too much for some people. But for me, yeah, I definitely got to run it fully extended. Cause I mean that's just what I mean, it feels way better for me. So, anyways, let's go ahead and break this thing down. So this one does come with a rail up top. As you see, it does come with that door breach and device at the end. Now I know a lot of people would be like, hold on, they don't come with that. But we get in there, we get in there why this was the best value. But well, that's not gonna be included in the added the total value of the price. You don't need to find something with this. Anyways, let's go ahead and break down the Benelli M4. H2O. Now, the reason why I said the statement earlier that I said, which was this is the best shotgun ever made. No, not because it was on the John Wick movie. Benelli M4. 
but it was on the John Wick movie, and he did make this thing look go crazy, and he probably spiked those cells up a lot. Not only because this was in the John Wick movie, but because this was adopted by the U.S. Marine Corps, and you know, if they use it, it gots to go crazy. So they was looking for something that was as reliable, or if not more reliable than a pump shotgun. So you know, yeah, everybody knows a pump is gonna be reliable, but they wanted something that can hold more rounds, you can shoot it faster, and that's gonna be reliable. They went over to the people at Benelli. I'm pretty sure they asked a couple other, you know, manufacturers, credible manufacturers, but they wanted a high class gun for breaching, mainly for breaching, and that's why I put that on there to, you know, kind of make it a little bit more authentic, but mainly for breaching, but I don't think they used it only for breaching. They Boom! <laughs> you never know. They wanted something for breaching, they wanted something reliable, and these people gave it to them. So these people gave them a self-cleaning, self-regulate. This thing, you do not need to switch, to change the gas, to change anything. So you can go from shooting bean bags to shooting full all slugs in the same tube. Y'all know shotguns, y'all know that. Most semi-automatic shotguns, the gas system, you gotta adjust it. You gotta adjust it if you're shooting low brass, high brass, you're shooting bird shot, slugs, you gotta adjust the gas system, especially because you need to cycle that bolt. And that bolt is not gonna cycle with low brass. So if, it's, if it can take high brass, usually low brass is not gonna cycle it. So that's why a lot of people will be like, oh, you have to adjust the gas system. Like they did, like Benelli did, if you watch my other video with this bad boy. So this is the law enforcement model. This is the Benelli M3. And the reason why I got this wasn't because of what it does. Well, it was because of what it does, but it also reminds me of, you know, an iconic shotgun, and which is that Spaz 12. That Spaz 12, which is the semi-auto pump shotgun. Now, I know that sounds weird, but that's what this does. This was kind of slept over because they didn't use it in John Wick, so it didn't really blow up like in the media like it was supposed to. But basically, this is a semi-auto pump shotgun. So all day long, you can go semi-auto, as you see that thing right there, semi-auto. But if you turn that lever, if you turn that lever up front, that thing right there, you see that? So if you turn that, and pull it back, now you got a pump shotgun. Like that's crazy, like that is just, I just think it's a cool system to have. But while I was pulling this bolt, it kind of reminded me of why that shotgun is so well built that Benelli M4, cause y'all could just listen to this. So y'all listen to this. Y'all listen to this bolt right there. It's not bad, but it doesn't sound and feel like this bad boy right here. That's like glass, listen to that. That is like glass. This is honestly like, I want to say like an Atlas 2011 or Zakato or something like Scotto XC. Not like better than the XC, but in the realms of shotgun, this would be in that class. So that's how smooth and glass filling this thing is. Anyways, like I told y'all, they wanted the military, they wanted a reliable shotgun. And this, and the internals of this, it breaks down. The gas system breaks down into four parts, would make it super easy to clean. And especially when you're in battle, that's one be gonna be one of your main priorities of keeping this thing clean. And we can only break it down into four parts. Super convenient, hands down. And a lot of people said this is the softest shooting semi-auto that they shot before. So I'm really looking forward to that, especially when you're dealing with those heavier, higher um, slugs, buckshot, stuff like that. Like you're gonna want a little cushion and not just this, even though this one feels really good, but you're gonna need something else. Now, get into the deal that I made. The deal that I paid was crazy. So if you watch my shows, you probably seen that I seen one with the fixed stock. So it was the H2O, but it had the fixed stock. And I seen that at the Eagle shows out in Pennsylvania and they wanted 1500 for it. Actually, I think they wanted 1400 for that one. But 1400 was not, it's not, it's actually a really good deal for that. The thing about these shows is you never want to jump the gun too early, but you never want to leave something sitting too long. And that's kind of what I did. So if y'all see my Philly Gun Show videos, y'all see that I covered three full arenas. And when it's three arenas, 2,000 tables, you know, that's a lot of real estate to cover. And you know, it usually takes me a couple hours, but I usually get it done and I'm, like, you, and I'm on the move. If y'all ever see me at these shows, I'm on the move. And so I seen it, I was just like, oh, and I even negotiated with them and they didn't like it because they, they was like, we're already gonna have the lowest price. But those willing to take them negotiations because I was one of the first people there. But I made a horrible mistake. I made a rookie mistake and I let that one slip through my fingers. So I was just like, okay, let me go finish recording and stuff like that. And then I'll be 
back for it. I'll be back for it. And by the time I came back, y'all can already guess what happened. Like, oh, we're, it's gone. And it was happy to say it's gone. It was like, oh, we, the person gave us what we asked. So I was like, oof. It is what it is, but I was hurt. I was hurt for that one because I was looking for that one for a while. And it's even hard to find in stock. Just the regular H2O, it's hard to find in stock. And if you're looking for a really good deal like that one was, oh, that's going to be, that's, you know, that was a hard pill to swallow. Till I went to the Texas one. I went to the Texas show and found this bad boy. Now the people was asking 17, which is not a bad deal, especially for the tactical version. But if you know, if you got your knowledge, which I try to put y'all on games, the reason why y'all go to show, you gotta negotiate. So the price I got this out the door, $14.99 on the dot. Well, not $14.99, $1,500. $1,500 on the dot, $14.99 sound better, but $1,500 on the dot for everything that you see, including that door breach of device. Like, come on, that is crazy. Nobody's beating that. So you might as well not even look around, but there is a couple of people, you know, there's a couple of people out there that, you know, they, they know what they're looking for and they know where to look. So there might, somebody might find a deal similar to this you know one of their local stores or something like that so if y'all find a deal it's either equal or beating this y'all let me know on my instagram my instagram is life with ob tv let me know my instagram send me the pictures show me where you know where is a better deal than this i got five tickets into that next giveaway but yeah i don't see anybody beating this so y'all got like what like go a week or two or something like that because i'm this is one of the shortest giveaways that i'm doing but yeah, y'all let me know if this is a tough one. Now, also, this one does come with a rail up top, so you could attach an optic. One of the things I really like about them is their grip. Now, this grip is just, oh. you know, I usually change the grips on my ARs and stuff like that and other shotguns, but this one right here is a dream. Like, this one feels so good in the hand. I think they got the same grip. Yep, they got the same grip on both of them. So those people, those Italians are doing something. At least with the shotguns, they're definitely doing something. Y'all boys in the comments, I need y'all to let me know which one y'all rocking with. Y'all rocking with the M3. I think the M3 is cool. I think the M3 would have been cooler in John Wick. Because y'all know, I mean, it's a movie anyway, so it's fake. So you don't really need the reliability of this. I know it adds to the movies, but you don't really need the reliability of this. And I feel like if he would have been able to manipulate this one, you know, go switch from pump to semi, I think that would have looked way cooler. But if you want the best of the best, this bad boy right here. So that's what everybody's saying. So you know I gotta test it out myself. So I'm pretty sure that the thousands of people who tested this thing out and the Marines and you know all of that stuff, the Marines aren't gonna adopt it if this isn't top tier. So I can almost take a bet that this thing is going to be probably one of the best shotguns that I've ever shot. But a lot of people was telling me to compare it to the Beretta also. So that might be something. Y'all drop that in the comments if y'all want me, if y'all want to see that one. But last look for the Benelli. M4 H2O Tactical. Yeah, let me know what else I should add. Should I add a shot? I mean, a flashlight? Should I add the ghost loader? Should... Y'all let me know what should I, what should I add. So I think I, I want to make this one crazy. And y'all let me know if y'all think a shotgun is a good home defense item. Y'all let me know because I know a lot of people do carry shotguns as a home defense because honestly, I think the biggest thing about shotguns is going to be round count. So this one, I think you got seven, if I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken, y'all drop it in the comments, but I think it's seven shells. And even with seven shells, now you're not gonna need to do too much talking. So this is not gonna be something that you need to pump three, four times in somebody. No, that one is definitely good, especially if you're using slug not slugs if you're using buckshot if you're using buckshot you don't need i don't even think you need if you need two that person's superman i know for a lot of people me want to be one of those people you'd rather have you know either an ar ak or something like that when you hear something go bump in the night but some people will grab the shotgun i mean you never know you never know until you are in that situation hopefully you're not on the opposite end hopefully you're not on the opposite end but look at can you imagine getting just Walking somewhere and that's what you see. That's the last thing you see because definitely gonna be the last thing you see because this 12 gauge is not gonna play no games with nobody, especially you running that slug or you running that buckshot because you're gonna be able to see through yourself basically. But y'all let me know. 12 gauge, a good home defense item or not. If I should compare it to the Benelli um, M3 or if I should compare it to the Beretta. Well, I'm already gonna compare it to the Benelli, but one last look 
this video definitely went longer than I thought it was gonna be. But one last look at what people claim to be the best shotgun ever. And if y'all don't think this is the best shotgun ever, leave it in the comments. Let me see what y'all say in the comments on what is the best shotgun ever made. Because right now, this is definitely in the link. But is it hype? Or is it facts? Y'all let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video.